All right, so today I want to talk about using Zed and using Olama specifically as the back end to run a model to be able to integrate with its chat or assistant panel on the right here, as well as some of its inline requests that you can make inside of code. And so to set this up, the first thing you need to do here, if you come over to your preferences for Zed, control comma or command comma, you need to add a section here. So by default, you can of course use OpenAI and one of the GPT models. But if you want to use something else locally, then you need to add a block in here for an assistant section. And then instead of disabling it, I'm just going to paste in the configuration here. This comes from the documentation directly. It's pretty straightforward. Looks like they have a versioning system for their assistants and it's on V1 right now. In the future, maybe there'll be a V2. And then underneath of provider, we're specifying the type as OpenAI. So as I understand it, we're essentially gonna override the configuration for the OpenAI provider to this assistant panel. They also have an Anthropic provider. I haven't used it yet, but I assume then they basically have different API formats that this can work with. And so since we're gonna be OpenAI compatible with Olama, we'll override that. And then I also need to of course specify the URL for Olama that's running locally. And then as far as the model is concerned, I actually need to specify one of the OpenAI models. And in a minute here, I'll show you how you can rename a model inside of Olama. For whatever reason, you've got to use one of the model names that it recognizes as a part of OpenAI. If I do control space here and just pick GPT-4 Turbo Preview. Whatever reason you have to use that. And so I'll copy that name here because now I need to come over to the command line. And first up, up above here, I need to start up Olama. So I'm serving there and I'll zoom out just a little bit and clear that out there. Down below, I run Olama list here. I need to pick a model to work with. And a couple have been working thus far in my testing. Code Llama worked, also DeepSeek Coder V2, and I believe I used Mistral as well. I had a little bit of trouble with Llama 3, and of course that's probably because it's not tuned for code purposes. So anyways, whatever model I wanna use, I need to do an Olama and a poll to get it if I don't have it already. Or once I have it, I can use a copy here. I can specify the name like DeepSeek Coder V2. I'll use that. And I'm going to copy it to the name of GPT-4 Turbo Preview, the name that I used over in the configuration in Z. So once I do that, and then I want to clear this out up above here so we don't have any requests, I'm going to come over to Z then. And I'll come over to the chat panel on the right here. I'll invoke the command palette, and I'll look for assistant and reset the key. And then as far as the key is concerned, it doesn't matter what you use. So I'll just use Olama here. So I'll do a test here, command return. See if we get something back. Oh yes, I forgot. I need to restart Z. So I need to kill it. After I change those settings, go ahead and save the changes, open it back up. That'll pick up the new assistant configuration. And here you go. I need to provide Olama now or whatever bogus key. And now over on the right here, I can just run a test message. See if that works. It'll take a moment as it loads up the model for the first time. All right, that request went through. And so back over in the IDE, well, it looks like we had some sort of a failure. So let's try this again here. Okay, there you go. I got a response back here. For whatever reason, it didn't work the first time. And that's why I have this little stop icon or failure icon. Okay, it took too long. So that very first time the model was loaded, it just took too long, so it timed out. I wonder if there's a timeout setting you could adjust in that case. Anyways, I've got my chat panel over on the right here. If I want to make a new chat session, by the way, command N. All right, so that's the context of using Olama locally for a chat session. And to confirm that's actually working over the command line, you can see the requests that are coming through. And then back over in Zed here, another way you can use the assistant, if you select some code, like these three lines here, control enter by default, will start a prompt here. And I can say something like, change my name to Wes McClure, and then just hit return here. That'll make the request. All right, and I get back a possible response here. In this case, you can see in the response here, it included the rewrite this. So if I were to accept this response, it'll replace the three lines with the five below. And so what I don't need would be this part right here. Once I remove that, now you can see that's actually accurate. That has updated my name. So I got a response back that's valid, but what I've experienced is that I typically need to remove some boilerplate before and after the modified code when it comes to using a model inside of Olama. All right, now, if you want to make changes to the model, just come back to the command line here. Pick a different model, like maybe I'll use Code Llama here. Pull back my copy. Replace the first name here. That'll copy it over the top of the other one. 
And I believe I don't need to restart anything as far as Olama is concerned. It should take some time here. I'll clear out the screen so we can see if the model has to load. So now let's come back over to Zed. Let's see if that works now. Let's come over in the chat here. What is your name? Let's see if it knows its name. Doubt that's gonna return anything meaningful, but let's just try it here, command enter. Over the command line, it looks like we're loading a model. Yep, loading a model right here. So we're switching models. All right, and we got a response back here, hopefully. There you go. I'm not sure I understand what you're trying to say. All right, so it looks like we got a valid response. And so that's how you can change a model. So just use that slug, that alias over at the command line, that GPT-4 Turbo Preview. Use that for whatever model you want to use at a given point in time. Hopefully in the future, if I come over to the preferences here, hopefully in the future, I'll be able to provide a valid name here like Llama 3 or Llama 2 or Code Llama or whatever I'd like. And that'll just make it a bit easier to work with Olama locally. All right, so you tell me, what do you think of this feature? Is this something you might find interesting? I personally think there's a lot of potential in terms of being able to select code and have it be modified. And of course, it needs to include some of the surrounding context and it needs to accurately be able to spit out the code changes to apply. But I think that can get smoothed out and that could do some really interesting things here because as you can see, a local model here was able to recognize the name and change it. And that's not exactly straightforward. And so when it comes to real code changes, I think this could be incredibly valuable, especially if you're running a model locally and you're not paying for every single request you make.